to the uh, ninth anniversary commemoration ceremony for the heroes of Flight 93. I especially want to welcome the First Lady of the United States, Michelle Obama, and our First Lady, Laura Bush, and my former uh, colleague uh, and uh, former Secretary of the Interior, Dirk Kempthorne, for his work uh, on this project. When President Obama appointed me to serve as Secretary of the Interior, he asked that I serve as a custodian of America's natural resources and heritage. Today, on these hallowed grounds, we serve that custodial role for a key chapter of America's history. This is my fourth visit to this Flight 93 memorial site since becoming Secretary of the Interior. I've had the honor of working with the family and friends of the heroes of Flight 93. I also have had the honor of working with the landowners and the community of Shanksville, whose lives, like the rest of the nations, were irrevocably changed on that day now nine years ago. The location for this year's anniversary service is especially significant as we return to the Western Overlook, where in many ways the journey began nine years ago. This is where the Pennsylvania State Police lined the ridge on horseback to salute the families as they were first brought to view the crash site. This is where the FBI, the NTSB, the ATF, and other agencies carried out their duties. Many of those who served the investigation and recovery efforts are with us in the audience today. And for the first responders, let's give them all a round of applause. This is also the place where the media gave the nation and the world their first glimpse of the crash site. And this is also the place where a community and nation came together. The Red Cross and Salvation Army and Good Samaritans demonstrated great compassion and care here. And the local residents of this community and this county opened their homes and their hearts to the families and to this nation. In the days following September 11th, a small memorial of hay bales was placed at the overlook where family members could leave flowers and tributes to their loved ones. As the investigation and recovery ended, staff added to the memorial as a way to pay their respects. In many ways today, we are still adding to that simple hay bale memorial. And the nation and the world have joined the salute. You will hear from distinguished speakers today but I want to impart with you the confidence that the Department of the Interior and our capacity as the stewards of national parks and historic sites for our great nation is fully committed to building a memorial to rightly commemorate these heroes. Because of the work of Neil Mulholland and the National Parks Foundation and their board, we are on the way with the friends of the, of the family of Flight 93 and so many others to be able to dedicate Flight 93 and the 10th year anniversary of 9-11. It is my hope that when our children and our grandchildren visit this memorial, and when our thoughts go to this particular place, this solemn place for our country, that they too will understand the selfless act of the heroes of 9-11. That they too will walk the hallowed grounds and feel the power and the resilience of the American spirit. Well, the next generation will not personally remember where they were that fateful morning. They will know that our nation, like the 40 men and women on Flight 93, responded to those acts of terrorism with courage, actions intended to divide the nation, instead rekindled a sense of unity, a sense of strength, and a sense of resolve. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on this solemn anniversary and for the opportunity to help build this memorial on behalf of a grateful nation.